Embrace the strange. Today's illusion is every part of me. I've spoken about my abhorrence of the ocean, the tempestuous sea, the raging deathscape. Yet today's peace does bring that to mind, and the terror of deep ocean life, albeit human, in a smidge plant. Chest down, the figure's body splits open, revealing spiky teeth. The legs are splayed, distorted, off to each side. While one hand clutches the would-be ground for support and to ease the overall tension of the body. Raised mid-air, the other arm is jolted out and away from the body. The bend of the neck prevents a face plant, and from the elongated neck, an alien head absorbs the body's condition. It's daring, horrific, and a little vulgar, but I'm proud of it in the end. Visually, I think this painting spawned from my earlier works, like Blood Written. It hurts to be endless leaps and bounds, escapist, and most recently, soul-bearing. It expounds very much on that feeling. The title is a fragment of a different work of mine that turned into a songish poem. It went like, I don't wear my heart on my sleeve, it's every part of me. You know, because I'm so that literal bitch with a severe outlook on life. It also gives Big God or Moderation by Florence and the Machine. Do I look moderate to you? Don't play with me. I'm sensitive. Not a light lover. Similarly to a character of a book I just finished, he was professing his love to his boyfriend, and his exact words were, I don't know how to love in some measured, practical fashion to keep back some part of me for safety. It very much echoes Lord Rider in the Dark. That's me and art. And the thing about the book, I can't tell which one of them I was. I got both very much. Maybe it's a Hannah Montana situation in which I'm one by day and the other by night. Or like certain hours of the day. I'd say it's good when things work out, but I think it's more, you know, a synchronicity sort of happenstance. Really, I shouldn't be surprised because my imagination is a bit dark. It also reminds me a bit, unfortunately, of the movie The Seven Deadly Sins. That movie is gross. Does this awaken a certain dread in you, or even enliven you with its splendor? Do tell. Comment something. Scathing, even. I would really appreciate it. Thank you for watching, and if you take anything away from this video, it is art, truly art, and art goes on, so I will in my next video. Thank you for watching.